Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts, and today we're looking at the new Mythos. So the Mythos comes in four variants. Basically two different blade sizes, 75 mil and 85 mil, and a timer and a gravimetric. In this case here, we've got the 75 mil gravimetric Mythos. And what that means is 75 mil blades and the grinder grinds to a weight parameter. Now weight's been one of the areas of coffee that grinders have been really wanting to get to and it's been actually a complicated process. But Victoria Arduino have had their development team really come up and use computer programmers to kind of really work in, not only on the scale, but on the self-learning aspect to kind of pick up the offshoots and really narrow it down. So with this grinder, we'll start first looking at how it changed from a Mythos 1. One of the kind of smaller changes that makes a difference is they moved the fans, both bigger fans, in, both in the rear, Previously had one in the side and one in the rear, which made it harder to bank up machines side by side. So moving the two fans to the rear really does make it easier to bank up machines and have them all work really neatly in a close proximity. They've also looked at the hopper design and changed the angle of the hopper to be able to feed the beans in basically at a sharper angle. And in the past, you sometimes have to, in a busy cafe, put your hand in there and move the beans forward. That's now been fixed. Another thing they've looked at is being able to clean out the burrs a lot easier by just having two big screws that you can remove and basically pull it out, clean it and put it back together. Previously it had four smaller screws and it's done a very similar concept when it comes to the clump crusher. One of the things that hasn't changed and I think was one of the really cool things from the Mythos 1 was dialing in the Mythos 1. Being able to move the little collar behind to set it to zero just at the beginning of the day and then move your grind from that set point. Also makes it easier when you have multiple baristas to be able to say move X amount as always based on a zero parameter that you're moving in. But really what we're looking at at this grinder is the changes that happen in the user interface and the temperature controller here. On the previous Mythos, you only had one temperature set, which was 40 degrees. On this Mythos, you can really control the temperature just by going to the menu here and adjusting. So it adjusts between 20 and 50 degrees. 20 is probably most likely your ambient temperature in the room, but you can set it up higher or lower depending on where you're located. Going back out of there, you got three settings for weight. You can have three different weights put in and you can just click through them simply by pressing on them. When you are in one weight setting, if you do click on that weight, then you can change the weight quite rapidly and then go either up or down and hold it down to set. So in this case, 22 grams. And when we're talking about speed, if you lock in the porter filter, you'll see just how quickly it picks up the porter filter and grinds. You'll see the progress of the grinding and it will change colors once it's ready. Now in this case, it ground 22 grams exact. But just say it did overshoot and I went to 22 grams, on the next grind it will learn and it will always be recalibrating itself based on the previous grind, which in a busy environment really helps to kind of get that perfect grammage, whatever you've calibrated it to. If you didn't want to run the machine as a gravimetric and prefer to go based or back to a time-based model, you could just go into the menu here and turn the timer mode on. And then you've stopped the gravimetric and you're just grinding based on time, whatever that time parameter may be. But I think that defeats the purpose, so we're gonna leave it on gravimetric. Another cool little feature, and it's more from a tech perspective, is they've worked really hard to make this machine super quick to either service or fix if it ever needed to. So there's four Ellen keys around the side panel on each side. You could just unscrew that and the whole panel come off. So just say down the track, the capacitor needed to change. It's a very quick change. It's something that if a grinder stops, a cafe stops, obviously some cafes will have more than one grinder, but being able to just change something out almost on the fly is a really awesome thing. And there's a few grinders that move down this path, but it's something that I really like seeing on the grinders coming out, just a serviceability aspect. One other thing is the porter filter support. Now with this support, you can use any porter filter. 
Some grinders you need to have a support for a normal porta filter and a support to say for a Lama Zorco porta filter. With this one, any porta filter works and all you have to do is adjust that height to suit your porta filter. But you really just, once you have the grinder, it's all that you need. In terms of cleaning, we mentioned the two screws here. If you close off the chute and grind out the coffee, you can just undo these two screws and pull it out and you can just clean the blades super easy. So it can be something that you do at the end of the day without any hesitation. Currently, it only comes in one hopper size, but they will be making a taller hopper for super busy environments. And when it comes to a look perspective, these machines in black, they also do come out in a white. So depending on your fit out, black or white are the options available. And something I've mentioned in many videos, I love when machines can be done in a seamless way. So the power cable comes from the bottom. You could drill out the base of your bench and just have multiple machines banked up super neat rather than cables sticking out or things like that. And with the power switch being on the front, you can bank them up. There is many cafes that will have them banked up either to have different blends, different origins or just for workflow. I hope you've liked this quick review of the new Mythos. We have actually done an in-depth review of the whole Mythos range with Andre Eamon, one of the developers and designers behind the Mythos range. So for a link to that video, click here. Thank you for watching this video on the Mythos. If you've liked the video, hit the thumbs up, give us a comment, and if you haven't yet, please hit subscribe. Thank you.